This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what is the initial transcript called in eukaryotes? Answer, the initial transcript in eukaryotes is called heterogeneous nuclear RNA. Question, how does HNRNA become Mr. NA? Answer, HNRNA is modified and becomes Mr. NA. Question, where is Mr. NA transported to be translated? Answer, mRNA is transported out of the nucleus to be translated in the cytosol. Question, what is the function of the cytoplasmic processing bodies? Answer, the function of the cytoplasmic processing bodies is to perform Mr. NA quality control. They contain exonucleases, decapping enzymes, and microNAS, mRNA may be degraded or stored in P bodies for future translation. Question, does polyapolymerase require a template? Answer, no, polyapolymerase does not require a template. Question, what is the polyadenylation signal? Answer, AAUAA is the polyadenylation signal. Question, what happens when there is a mutation in the polyadenylation signal? Answer, when there is a mutation in the polyadenylation signal, it leads to early degradation prior to translation. Question, what processes occur in the nucleus? Answer, the following processes occur in the nucleus, capping of 5 feet and polyadenylation of 3 feet and splicing out of introns. Question, what is the final product called after the process of capping? tailing and splicing answer the final product after the process of capping tailing and splicing is called mr na question how many introns are present in mr na answer the number of introns present in mr na varies depending on the gene and organism some genes may have no introns while others may have multiple question how does the process of splicing occur answer the process of splicing occurs by removing the introns and joining the exons together this is done by the spliceosome a large large ribonucleoprotein complex that recognizes the intron exon boundaries and catalyzes the removal of the intron. Question, why is the process of capping important? Answer, the process of capping is important because it protects the Mr. Na from degradation and it is necessary for the recognition of the Mr. Na by the ribosome during translation. The capping also allows the Mr. Na to be recognized by the transport machinery that moves it out of the nucleus to the cytosol. Question, what is the role of the polya tail in Mr. Na? Answer, the polya tail, which is added at the three end of the Mr. Na, helps to protect the Mr. Na from degradation. The tail also helps to stabilize the Mr. Na and regulates its translation. Question, what is the function of exonucleases in P bodies? Answer, exonucleases are enzymes that degrade RNA from the end and are present in P bodies. They play a role in the degradation of Mr. Nas that are targeted for destruction by removing the cap and tail of the Mr. Na, thereby making it a substrate for other exonucleases. Nucleases. Question, how does decapping enzymes work? Answer, decapping enzymes are enzymes that catalyze the removal of the cap structure from the 5 end of the Mr. Na. They work by hydrolyzing the bond between the cap structure and the rest of the Mr. Na, releasing the cap and exposing the Mr. Na to the action of exonucleases which can then degrade the RNA. Question, what is the role of microNAS and P bodies? Answer, microNAS are small, non-coding RNAS that play a role in post-transcriptional regulation of gene expression. They are present in P bodies and act by binding to the three untranslated region of target Mr. NAS, thereby inhibiting their translation or triggering their degradation. Question, what is the difference between HNRNA and Mr. NA? Answer, HNRNA, also known as heterogeneous nuclear RNA, is the initial transcript produced by the transcription process in eukaryotes. It contains a mix of different types of RNA including pre-Mr. NA, introns, and untranslated regions, mRNA, or messenger RNA is a modified version of HNRNA that has undergone a series of processing steps including capping, tailing, and splicing. mRNA contains only the exons, which are the coding regions of the gene, and are ready to be transported out of the nucleus for translation. Question, what is the role of P bodies in Mr. Na quality control? Answer, P bodies, also known as cytoplasmic processing bodies, play a key role in Mr. Na quality control by regulating the stability, translation, and degradation of Mr. Na. P bodies contain enzymes such as exonucleases, decapping enzymes, and microNAS that can degrade Mr. 
master NA or store it for later translation. This process helps to ensure that only functional, correctly processed Mr. NA is translated. Question, how does capping protect the Mr. NA? Answer, the capping of the Mr. NA at the 5 end protects it from degradation by enzymes that degrade RNA from the end. The cap structure is composed of a modified guanine nucleotide, 7-methylguanosine which is added co-transcriptionally. This modification makes the Mr. NA resistant to degradation and also allows it to be recognized by the transport machinery that moves it out of the nucleus to the cytosol. Question, what is the role of the polyatale in Mr. NA stability? Answer, the polyatale, which is added at the three end of the Mr. NA, helps to protect the Mr. NA from degradation by binding to proteins that protect the Mr. NA from exonucleases. The tail also helps to stabilize the Mr. NA by preventing it from undergoing premature degradation. Additionally, the length of the polya tail can also regulate the translation of the Mr. NA. Question, how do microNAS regulate gene expression? Answer, microNAS are small, non-coding RNAs that play a role in post-transcriptional regulation of gene expression. They bind to the three untranslated region of target Mr. NAS and can inhibit their translation or trigger their degradation, thereby reducing the amount of protein product made from that gene. This allows for fine-tuning of gene expression in response to different cellular conditions and developmental processes. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe.